Time for it to feed, only once every seven years, it went abroad at night consuming unwary travellers. Many believe that the demon was compelled to feed on sufficient victims by midnight on the fourth night of feeding season or perish. Mr. Johnson, are you there? There must be more. Hang on, there's another sign. Joy. Joy! Joy, where are you? What's happening? Oh. Don't you ever do that again. What? Not go to the toilet? John. Who's he? This is my friend Toby. If you're good, he'll show you one of his violent computer games later. He's African. Well, I think we'd have noticed a wagon around the streets, John. I drew it in for you. What? You missed a bit out in the middle. I drew it in for you, look. What? The route. What route? The bus. Like the man upstairs drives. Hello. Are you all right? <laughs> Reverend Johnson? There are some fragments of their life force even I can't digest. Still, they make useful set dressing. It was a pity about my husband. I had no idea he'd get on the bus tonight. When you killed Ravi, he wasn't walking home at all. He got on this bus. My own personal night bus. The driver doesn't remember a thing when he wakes up. A perfect way to pick people up without being noticed. People just get on. They feel safe with the others on board. It's a shame I have to feed several times these days. There's so little sustenance in one old woman. This Hawthorne must have seen you near the site of the first body. So you pretended to discover it? but she was the one threat to that story while she still lived. It was convenient when I had a chance to get her out of the way too. Why kill your husband? All he ever did was care about you. It's no good appealing to my human side now. You have no idea how the hunger consumes me. Nothing can suppress it when it starts. Not even sleeping pills. But it's getting late, and I can't control the craving any longer. It's not evil, you see. It's nature. I have to feed enough before midnight tonight. Otherwise, I won't survive. And anyway, a girl's got to eat. <laughs>
time, Cinderella. You must give John Collins the name of that face grief. <laughs> Thanks for a walk from here. from here. Josiah Johnson's funeral service was quite jolly. You'd have enjoyed the gospel music. Yes, just as I'd enjoy a red-hot knitting needle stuck in my ear. Uh, you offered my condolences to his family. Mm, yes. Still no word on his wife's whereabouts. A sad case. Still, there is one consolation. I did my very best to help her. I'm sure you did, Canon. My very best. My mind's really at rest about Joey now. Good. At last, I can put all of this behind me. You weren't thinking of calling me in to catch any more demons, were you? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> what a relief. Let's go and treat ourselves. Hmm? And go to the cafe and get some full fat cheesecake with chocolatey chunks. If that isn't demonic, I don't know what is. Come on. Weird goings on continue next Saturday night at the same time. Strange, five past nine, BBC One. Still ahead tonight, celebrating the hundredth birthday of a comedy legend. But Monkhouse and a host of star names pay tribute to Bob Hope in 20 Minutes on BBC One. <laughs>